take this badge of me I can't use it anymore It's getting dark, too dark to see I feel I'm knocking on heaven's door Knock, knock, 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 knocking on heaven's door Shoot them anymore. The time has arrived for us to begin our, our service. And to begin our service, you'll all have a hip uh, sheet in front of you. And those of you who uh, don't know any Māori hymns, you're about to learn them. Uh, there'll be two hymns in our language. The first one will be on the front of your hip sheet. That'll be our first hymn.
each contributing to the rich tapestry of his life. Stuart, our father, he was a visionary, always seen opportunities where others only seen obstacles. His entrepreneurial journey was filled with ups and downs, some ventures successful, while others only served as valuable life lessons and experiences to take forward in life. Stuart's creative soul found expression through music as a singer, songwriter, and he touched many hearts, leaving behind his infectious passion to entertain and also his love for the Sydney Street Choir. His most proud role was that of a father to me and my brothers, Warren Grant and Darren, and Charmaine, our sister, that we've recently found, and we're so blessed and cherished to have her in our life beside us. He imparted values and shared wisdom and created countless memories for us, his children, that we will treasure forever. He looked to a warm, the value of hard work, perseverance, always encouraging to pursue his dreams. <coughs> Darren, Dad shared him with him wisdom and life lessons, and was always there providing him I just need to save advice when needed. Charlene. To his daughter Stuart was able to expand his affection and love and nurturing nature as a father, but also as a confidant. Always there to support and support and additional love. Me. My dad instilled a love for the outdoors, sharing fishing trips, and a love for the ocean that became my most treasured memory. Stuart was also a survival artist, skilled in the art of making do with what one has. The skill is not just a hobby but a philosophy he applied to all aspects of his life, teaching his children the importance of resilience and adaptability. As we lay our father, our brother, our uncle, Stuart Rawley to rest, <coughs> let us remember the love and the laughter and the wisdom that he brought to all of our lives. He was a great man of integrity that he passed on through me and my brothers and our sister. Kindness and boundless love, and you'll be deeply missed by all, but never forgotten. We ask our Heavenly Father to guide Stuart, my dad, on his journey to the afterlife, and also to give strength to all of us here that mourn him today. Amen. Amen. Don't just sit on the run. 
one way and hope someone will come along and push the air away. It simply won't happen. Change your attitude and gain some altitude. Believe me, you'll love it up here. Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs>
you know something. <laughs> I know we'd laugh together. <laughs> That's how Stuart made friends so easily. I thought that was great. Thank Thanks very much. Thank you. I was going to say the exact thing because we sent the same message. <laughs> 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 but I'm going to speak on, I'll try my best. Given that Stuart's the eldest, he has given me, Tommy, Ian, the niece that's not here, and Marley. Seven rebels. <laughs> Not really. Um, yeah. Stuart, Stuart had a colourful life, that's how I see it. He just loved people, he loved helping people that were down and out, and I feel the same. And there's no need to be, be judgmental on people just because they look different, just because they're not up to your standard or level in life. They're still human. And now we all got to be out there, and this is what makes the world go round. It's fine that we are asked to look at people from the heart. Um, and Stuart taught me a few of those things too, so I can come back to him as well. Um, and I just think it's lovely to see all our beautiful family and all our beautiful friends that come along. And I was so looking forward to seeing this choir because Stuart took me to that hall one day with Charmaine. And it was just so beautiful that part of the Sydney Council helped them put this choir together. And they were singing songs for Christmas for the people out on the streets that were living on the streets. And I just thought, man, my brother is just awesome. I, I couldn't think of anything better than what Stuart did to bring all those beautiful people together. And I saw them in a different Right. And that's how we should see each other. You know? I've, I've come a long way in my life. We all have. We've all got our problems. We've all got our ups and downs. And we've all got issues, but deep down, we love. You know? And it's so simple just to love everybody, like Stuart said, and not And that's it. Yeah, come on up. You're here. Um, well, the Stuart, you might have said, oh, I'm not the same age as me today. So, um, yeah, yeah. I don't want to get funny from what the page is or anything, but I did a lot of things with him too. Really good things and really good good things. <laughs> we got better and better. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I mean, the beautiful brothers and sisters here, and actually, I've already said everything for me right now, but I just wanted to say those little things. And, uh, yeah, and, uh, even though I'm old, I feel like the choice. Camera shy, but uh, no, we've got to get it from the Everything is been said, and I love all of you fellas. No matter where you all come. My lovely Becky over there, she just arrived. Dear Becky. And uh, yeah, so we're going to celebrate our brother today. Surely.
the Arki or Stig. I'll be back. <laughs> uh, sure, that's it. Uh, I'd like to open up the floor for uh, anyone else that wants to have something to say. And because of where Stuart uh, comes from, uh, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs>
When I meet him, say, what's your name? He said, my name is Pascal Stu. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I know him as a songwriter, an artist, and a very good man. And as uh, it was a mention, Stu introduced him to choir. Same story. I, I met Stu 2009, and, and I was homeless, sleeping on the street, and I met him in Matthew Talbot, man shelter, <coughs> and we talk at he got good heart, he invited me and say, come and stay in my place, I've got a place for you. I, I never did it, but I'm, I still said, Stu, for your heart. And for years and years, he said, oh, Felix, come to Sydney Street Park, come to Sydney Street Park. But for some reason, I was like, just watching these people, strange people, I never, <laughs> I never knew. But one day, a few years ago, I, I come to Sydney Street Park, and, and, and I become part of Sydney Street Choir, it's all my family. We're all different, and, but it's real people, you know. They, they, if they don't like you, they tell you where to go. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> and I love uh, James. Uh, uh, James. James is our choir master. Uh, he, he's amazing. He never bully us. He always smiles. He always positive. And, and, and I think it's the same Stephen's my best Swedish choir. I've done my life with all your advice to, uh, to be part of the
built uh, just stupid and stupid. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, free of pain. Uh, death we should all embrace because the vastness of it, you know, who knows where we go. I, uh, uh, I look at a lot of uh, near-death experience videos on YouTube and uh, all those people that pass on, they go to a place, they're left by their ancestors, someone they love comes along and shows them the way and, uh, you know, what they find out there is better than anything down here. You know, no bills, <laughs> no corruptness, uh, you know, no people to feed, no money to make, no taxes to pay. And uh, when they're told they have to come back, they say, no way, I'm not coming back. I don't want to go back down there. <laughs> Uh, and they have to, but, uh, but the fight they all put up once they get up there is, uh, you know, it's, uh, for me, it's a lot of comfort. I don't fear death, I try not to. Every day I'll, I think about it, uh, but I take a lot of comfort that there are better things to come than this life can offer. So, you can play it up there with Jimmy. <laughs> Hendrix, that is. <laughs> and uh, we hope to see you up there soon. Thank you, Stu, for your friendship. Yeah. <laughs> 
I did my best, it wasn't much. I couldn't feel the child to touch. I told the truth, I didn't come to fool ya. And even though it all went wrong, I'll stand before the Lord of song with nothing on my tongue but Take this badge of me.